all right guys welcome to a reaction video yes I know I don't do much reaction videos but I, I want to do this one uh, we're gonna react to this video called the current state of MLB television scoreboards in 2023 so do y'all remember this is really for baseball fans only do y'all remember those videos I did on MLB on Fox's scorebug talking about how bad it is and no one likes it so I found this video here from this youtuber named depressed ginger um, so I found this video then I, I decided to look on his channel just to see what he does and he does a lot of sports talk sports videos um, I watched a little bit of a few other videos but this one I want to watch this do a reaction video because some of you might want to watch this with me for you know if you're a baseball fan so yeah uh, let's see here I guess he's gonna talk about all the scoreboards for MLB television in 2023 so I'm looking right here let me make this full screen I'm looking right here he is he gonna talk about all the scoreboards score bugs for MLB because look this is it lists all the um, networks the um, the regional sports networks so like you know it tells you what teams that they have it on you know um, since I live in Louisiana the closest team for me is Houston Astros that's why they're my favorite team because I, I, I've been to a few of their games and uh, their network is called AT&T Sportsnet. Oh, you can see it right here. Yeah, look. Colorado, Houston, Pittsburgh, and Seattle. Yeah. You know, that's weird. That's one in each time zone. Because Pittsburgh's in Eastern Time, Houston, Central Time, Colorado, Mountain Time, Seattle, Pacific Time. So, yeah, there's a lot of score, bu score bugs, score bugs, whatever, scoreboards, whatever you want to call them because it's you know a lot of them are on a sports local channel um, so if you live in New York you're gonna get all the Yankees and the Mets games you know California Southern California you're gonna you're, you're gonna get the Dodgers Angels and the Padres yeah it just it really depends on where you live so that's like this is their regional television broadcast scoreboards so I, sh I think he's also got to talk about the the major network scoreboards you know Fox TBS ESPN MLB Network I think if they still broadcast games I know they they were broadcasting the D World Baseball Classic but the World Baseball Classic games were on the Fox channels doesn't make any sense you know so all right, let's get into it. By the way, I might pause this video. I know I, I, I usually never pause videos, but this is a video where I'm watching a guy talking and giving his his thoughts and stuff. So I don't really want to talk while he's talking. That's why I'm probably gonna pause the video a couple of times. But I'm gonna try not to pause it too much. All right, here we go. Let's get right into it. All right, I'll put the link in the description. So you can go uh, check this YouTuber out. Here we go. All right, guys, with the MLB season soon to kick off, I wanted to take a look at all the different scoreboards around in the world of the MLB. And I just want to warn people, there's a lot of different ones compared to the NFL because I did this with the NFL and college football. And I'm going to try and get oh, you did? starting with Well, guess what? I'm going to react to that as well. Televised games and then going to the regional stuff, the Valley Sports situation. There's a lot of different like Valley Sports sucks. To look at. So first, that's a terrible That's a terrible name. Valley Sports? Come on. Root Sports is a better name. By the way, I, I forgot to say, if you hear that noise in the background, that's my fan. I'm pretty hot in my room, so I apologize, but that means I gotta talk louder. Alright, let's go back. Looking at ESPN, of course, they have Sunday night 
baseball. Yep. They also have, I like the uh, score bug. I think they have like a Tuesday night game and then the playoffs. Some of the playoff games. Nah, t- no. T- TBS does Tuesday nights now. They used to do uh, Sunday afternoon, but now it's on Tuesday nights. That's kind of weird. All right, I sorry if I'm gonna pause this a lot. I I don't want to talk while he's talking. So, uh, this score bug they had this since 2018, and usually a network would change their score bugs every three to four years. But ESPN hasn't changed theirs yet. I don't know. Maybe they will change theirs. You know, they're gonna have their first game on Thursday, March 30th between Chicago White Sox and the Houston Astros. That's going to be on ESPN, so they might have a different score bug. We'll, we'll find out. You guys can see ESPN's in the upper left corner. Number one, when I look at a scoreboard or a score bug, whatever you want to call it, I call it a scoreboard because that's what it is. I mean, it's a scoreboard. But somebody was telling me, oh, it's graphics, so it's a score bug. But either way, I'm just going to call it a scoreboard. Yeah, uh, same thing. When you look at them, I like them as small as possible. That sounded weird. I'm, I, I mean, you know, the scoreboard. And yeah. I normally like them in a corner. I don't. So I don't. Like you, I don't like them too big, but I don't like them too small either. I like it like a medium size. Um, and it depends on on certain sports, you know. Hockey. A lot of like if you watch NHL hockey. A lot of their score bugs are small because all you have are the team names, the abbreviation, the logos, and you got the first period, second, third, and then the time limit. That's really it. Oh, and sometimes the shots on goals, penalties. That's it. It's not much information. It's not like football. You know, football, you got the team names, the score, the, the logos. You got the quarters, the downs, play clock game clock all that crap all right sorry <laughs> you get the logos you get the color of the teams you get the record everything's neat everything's tidy it's not surprising because this is espn so i would give this espn scoreboard you know if i'm feeling generous i'll give it a b plus it's solid i like it oh he's you grading these oh i like that he's like grading that. So these that espn's Next, we're going to be taking a look oh. at Fox's <laughs> That's an F. That's an F. I give this one an F. so sad that they don't have regional rights to many of these teams. Of course, Valley. Oh, 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 oh. what did he say? Sorry. What did he say? Good thing I can rewind it. Many people have seen just amazing, really unbelievable presentation. It is so sad that they don't have regional rights to many of these teams. Of course, Valley Sports. Yeah, that's sad. Y'all remember years ago, Fox Fox Regional Local? I think that's what it's called. Yeah, something like that. Man, why is it... What? I don't know why. I mean, I, I did read why it's no longer... Fox Sports Local. It's now Bally Sports. I might have to read that again. Alright, let's go back. And that disgusting, what is it, Diamond Sports Company, just horrible. Uh, we'll get to theirs in a second. But Fox's, you know, with the World Baseball Classic going on, this is an A+. Plus. It's vibrant. What? It's bottom right corner. A+. Plus? You're kidding me. What? It's got the logos. It has character. Yeah, but the logos are the logos are behind the abbreviation. That looks terrible. What about the big 3D bases? If you guys actually watch the games live, it has little like I pixels don't. moving on in the background. You know, if you watch the game, you'll know what I mean. But it is very, very. I refuse to watch games on Fox. Fox. I'm sorry. Broadcast sucks too. They have the FS1 games on Saturday afternoon, but they have a really, really nice score bug and seeing it. Good thing I, uh, yeah, if you watch the World Baseball Classic, um, it's so stupid that, like, all the games are on Fox. And then, like, only the Team USA games and the semifinals and the finals, 
it's it's the Fox broadcast. That's why they 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 use their own score bug. Doesn't make any sense. Why? Uh, good thing I didn't watch it on the Fox channel or FS1 because I have the international broadcast. Yeah, I think he'll talk about that one later. I'm sorry for pausing it too much, but yeah. During the World Baseball Classic with like U Team USA and stuff, it is so cool. So theirs is really, really good, and I would say it's the best right now. So if it's the best right now, oh I'm no, probably if I'm grading it, probably an A. No. Well, hey, I respect your opinion. We all have our own opinions. But I, I read a lot of tweet, tweets about this score bug when it first came out. They didn't like it. They didn't like it. Or something like that because it's really, really nice. What about the... the next thing he didn't even talk about the pizza is, boxes bases. This is Peacock's, which is also... So this is where it gets kind of weird. So Peacock has the rights to a yeah, game they do. on Sunday morning. And of course no one Well it's not it's not really Sunday morning. It's well if you live in the West Coast it's in the morning. To me for me it's eleven thirty. That's not really that's not really early. If you live in the Pacific, that's nine thirty. Yeah, that's still kind of in the morning. I don't know what uh, Sunday morning it's not really in the morning. You know? Whatever is watching it it's the most ridiculous thing ever whether you like streaming or not the idea that something live sports can be streaming exclusive is so stupid but this is also nbc's score bug as well so they share the same one that's because peacock is part of nbc and so nbc sports regional networks it's the white Sox, open athletics philadelphia phillies and the san francisco giants and i have to say i've always liked nbc and how they do things like with notre dame college football with their sunday night the way their graphics package yeah but the the notre dame and sunday night football score bug are two different things they're not the same I don't know. Hey, I'll watch that. I'm gonna. I will do a reaction to that video later this year because currently we're in the off season. Looks, so yes, I honestly I do like it. I'm not gonna lie. I like this Even one. Okay. It also has the Peacock TV as well. They just kind of took their grand. Better over. than Fox, I'll and say the that. One thing that I would say is missing. If you you want to nitpick it, it's like the abbreviations are missing. I'm okay not with that. It's a big deal. I actually think the abbreviations might make the scoreboards look a little cluttered. If you're a like, big really baseball like fan, you should know Diego. all the logos. We know it's the Padres, and if you don't, it's just, to me, it does, it, it looks really, really nice. I like that one. I would probably go slightly lower than Fox's. I would go nah. minus. You know, I'm well, hey, that's his opinion. It might be a tie with Fox's for the best scoreboard going into 2023. NBC does a really good job. And again, I'll give this one a B plus. Sox, B plus. A's, Philadelphia Phillies and San Francisco Giants. Right ESPN still the best well. one so then far. I give that one an A. Oh, this one's CBS, too small. Which has Look at this one. Look how small the logos are. Look how small the numbers are. I don't like that. I don't like that. And you know what, TBS? You haven't changed that since 2018. Or 2017. Come on, TBS. It's time to. It's time for you to change yours. What are you waiting for? You know what? Okay. Sorry, this video is long. But I don't care because this is a 16-minute video anyway. Um, 2016. TBS is score bug. Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you because I don't want to explain it. I will show you what it looks like. All right, so this is what TBS's score bug looked like in 2016. Um, if I put it on full screen, yeah, you can see the title is kind of in the way, but let me make it on full screen. You can see that, let me do it like this, there we go. You can see that the scoreboard is docked. It's docked to the top left, and that's what people don't like. It looks too big, but to me, it's not that big to me. This is to me, you know? 
Um, I would I would shrink it a little bit, and then that that I'd be fine with it. But then the next year, oh my gosh, the next year, look how much smaller it is. It'll say that on Wikipedia that the fans were criticizing it, they were complaining that it was too big. So then CBS changes it the following year to a much smaller one, and people are still complaining, and they haven't changed it ever since. Although, in 2020, TBS's score bug was on the bottom left. And then next year's, in the playoffs, I think, they moved it back to the top left. Like, what the hell? That's weird. Nothing has changed except the position. Here we are, five over five years later, TBS. Come on. Time for you to change your score, Bug. All right. They used to have a Sunday afternoon game. I believe now they I give this a C minus. A C minus. Night, and then they do have games in the playoffs. And I like TBS's. I don't think it's perfect, but it is small in the upper left corner, and I would give it a solid B+. Plus. It, it's, it, it gets the job done. Yeah, it's too it's small for me. Almost maybe too small, right? Like, yeah. Uh, no, but I do like it. I'd say I'd say a solid B+. Plus. There's no abbreviation. have the MLB Network one. Okay. Now that's a good one. Now that's a great one to me. I give this one an A+. Plus. Um, yeah. This is uh, MLB Networks. Um, they also had this for MLB The Show, the video game, for a couple of years. Um, I never played it because I don't have a PlayStation or Xbox, but I heard that I think it's finally on the Nintendo Switch, the MLB The Show video game. So, yeah. All right, let's see what he has to say. I, this is my favorite one. So this is where things kind of get interesting. Apparently, if Bally Sports, you know, they, they filed for bankruptcy, if they lose teams, the MLB Network might have to broadcast the team's games. And I don't know if you guys have seen MLB Network and their World Baseball Classic scoreboard, but, I mean, I, I don't know what's going on with MLB Network. They've had the same scoreboard for about nine years, it feels like. Okay. Yeah, they they had the same score bug for five six years, um, I think. But yeah, I don't know why they never changed theirs. But this is a good one. Um, yeah, MLB Network. The only thing that they changed on MLB Network is the bottom part of the, uh, you know, the bottom thing where they show the scores and the stats and all that crap. I don't like that, that bottom part. When you watch MLB Tonight, the show, you know, that, that thing at the bottom is just too much for me. I don't know. But the score bug is great. But yeah, I don't know why they haven't changed theirs in seven years. Like I said, usually net, big networks, they would change theirs every three to four years. Five tops. But it's been more than five years. You've got to modernize it a little bit. I'm sorry I'm talking so much and pausing it you know, so much. So I, I personally, I'm just not a fan of it. It's very dark. It lacks color. It lacks any sort of vibrant, you know. So hopefully, maybe if they do end up having to carry some of these teams' games, if Bally Sports ends up... Yeah, the maybe other, they'll finally change hopefully it. Hopefully, we'll see a new one introduced. But I don't have high hopes for that because it seems like they've had the same scoreboard <laughs> for the past 10 years, MLB Network, that is. But theirs, I would give like a C, honestly. It's just very average to me. Wow, so far, me and him are having different grades. It's weird. He 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 he, he likes the Fox one the best, and I that's my least favorite, the Fox one. It just looks terrible to me. I really like the MOB Network one, and he doesn't really like it that much. I really don't like TBS to score bug, but he, he really likes that one. Wow, we're having different opinions. That's I mean, fine. That out about it. it's mainly dark. You can give me and your opinions you at the... Also have okay, now that's a weird one. Yeah, so this is Apple TV+. Plus. It's a new thing that they introduced in 2022 they only do friday nights double header friday nights and i don't have apple tv plus but i can get the games on my fire stick 
because I have Fire Stick. I have an app that shows a ton of channels, ton of sports channels. It's ridiculous. So I would get this, and this one looks weird. You, you, hey, this guy, he was saying that the MLB score bug, the MLB network score bug was dark. This one's a lot darker. I would give this one a, eh, I would give this one a C plus. Yeah, plus. <laughs> TV, which again, no one watches, you know, streaming live sports exclusively is just brutal. And I, I'll be honest, guys. So people, this is the weird thing with the MLB. Last year, this was, oh, look, this was St. Louis and L.A. This was the game where uh, Albert Pujols hit his 700th home run. Yeah, all right. I'm sorry for pausing it so much. Like I said, I'm sure y'all won't, y'all don't mind if I do that. Y'all rather have me do that than talking while he's talking at the same time. Your people were trying to say, oh, you know, it, it's so sad that it's only streaming exclusive, but it's such a good presentation. Look at this scoreboard. You're going to tell me this is good? It looks like the sixth stage of depression. It's just pitch black. Dude, that is not a good scoreboard. Come on, folks. What is the bar on these scoreboards? You gotta... All right. This is the first one that both of us kind of agreed on. Oh, you're going to call that a good scoreboard? I, I just yeah. don't like Apple TV. It's a I meh. Don't like Peacock. C+. And then they say in the bottom right corner, Oh my God! Paul Goldschmidt has a twenty percent chance to. Oh, I forgot base. about that. Come on, are, are we serious? That's weird looking. Like, that really is like, what is? What am I supposed to do with that information? Okay. Are they gonna have yeah, that again this most year? Most batters are gonna have like a seventeen to a twenty-three percent chance to reach base, depending on. Yeah, no one cares about, about that, like that stat. That, oh my God! Now that I know. Paul Goldschmidt has a 20% chance to reach base. My viewing experience Who cares? is so improved now that I know that. I, I, I just I don't understand that them adding that. It's almost like a gimmick to me. It's unnecessary. Uh, is, unnecessary information the, right there. I, just, I don't like the all black. There's nothing to it. I understand they do have the 4K and they have a really good picture. I get it. But that's just uh, that's my it. opinion on the Apple TV <laughs> one. They have Friday night games. Black and white, like kind of boring. Friday but night games depending every single Friday. Now getting to the actual regional networks. Oh, boy. Valley Sports. First of all, that's a terrible name. Valley Sports. <sighs> you know, ever since Valley Sports became a thing, I barely watch games on Valley Sports. Yeah, I'm glad my favorite team, the Houston Astros, are not on Valley Sports. <laughs> so he's really, this guy is really going to talk about all the score bugs and for MLB today. It's a lot of score bugs, but uh, you know, I like I like this. So this score bug, it looks weird. It covers the, it takes up the whole bottom of the screen. I don't like that. And it and it tells you stuff on the bottom right corner that no one really cares about. You know. I give this one I don't know, is this better than Apple TV? It's hard to it's hard to say. I would give this one a C a C minus. A C minus or a D plus. So, I say Apple TV is a little bit better, mainly because we only have to see that on Friday nights. We're going to be taking a look at the biggest one, Valley Sports. <laughs> so they have the rights it's to a long Arizona, one. Atlanta, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Detroit, Kansas That's City, a lot. the Angels, Miami, Milwaukee, all of Minnesota, them that used to be on St. Fox Louis, Sports San local. Diego, Tampa Bay. And Texas, all those rights, I believe, probably being transferred from Fox when they had regional network games. So let's get to the actual Bally Sports debacle of a scoreboard, which is just terrific. It gets an F minus from me. It takes up the entire bottom screen, and we're going to go slide by slide here. You know what? Let's see what, what do they want us to know for this game. More than half of the scoreboard 
is showing us about other games. So yeah, that's great. I don't like that. Greatest pitching. That's, we, we need, we need Cut it in half, and, and it would look better. We're taking a look at, oh my goodness, it's OPS leaders. I guess Google doesn't exist. So, oh, Bryce Harper, Manny Machado. Yeah, what is this, MLB motivation. Network? <laughs> oh my God, we can follow Valley Sports on Twitter. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm I gonna did not do that. that. I have Twitter. Hold on. I, I have Twitter. I follow a whole bunch of people and companies on Twitter. Screw Valley Sports. Hell no. Um, it's just sad that it's it's no longer Fox Sports Regional. You know, even if even if Fox Sports Regional still exists or local, do you think it's gonna be? Do you think Fox would have that same score bug that they do now? Eh. I almost rather, yeah, I rather have Valley Sports score bug than Fox. Fox is an F minus for me, but he he says Valley Sports is an F minus. Well, this is this right. changes everything. It changes everything. Oh my God, they're showing the umpires. The umpires. Well, wow. I the care about the umpires actually. That is amazing. It, this is so ridiculous. Growth chart. What is that? No idea. Cardinals.com promotions. And then we've got more probable. So you can just see kind of the whole idea and how ridiculous this is. And I think yeah. the funniest part of the Bally Sports scoreboard <laughs> debacle was when one of the dumb designers tried defending himself on Reddit by saying they didn't implement the right things. And he was trying to say, you guys, you, you see on the right side of the scoreboard, how it shuffles through a bunch of random crap. He was saying, oh, that part of the scoreboard was supposed to show current stats of the game. Dude, you need to completely redesign the entire scoreboard. It's not just that. You could completely eliminate that, and it would still be a horrible scoreboard stuck in 2010. Those are 2010 graphics. It is a horrible job by Bailey. <laughs> and the fact that one of their designers wants to come out and say, no, it was just, you know, they didn't implement it. No, it sucks, dude. The whole thing needs to be blown up. You, you, it, it's terrible. I don't know what to tell you. It's like, there's nothing redeeming about it. Yep. You, need, you need to scrap it, scrap the fonts, scrap everything. It is terrible. It is bulky. It is obnoxious. It is clunky. It looks horrible. It, there is nothing good about it. See, I'm saying, I'm saying pretty much what he said for the Fox score bug. I don't like the Fox score bug, but he likes that one the best. And, uh, yeah, the worst part about Valley Sports, man, it's just that sad that a lot of teams are on Valley Sports, you know? Um, you know, MLB Network, they would show games from different broadcasts, right? And, oh my god, imagine watching a Valley Sports game on MLB Network. That'll be the worst. <laughs> this whole idea, like, oh, wait, they just didn't know. They, you need to destroy the thing. Take the take the graphics file and just kill all of it. So that's the opinion <laughs> of Valley Sports. It's just terrible. Just awful the scoreboard. And let's hope they go bankrupt. I'm sure everyone is. It's yeah, I hope they do. Is. It's Diamond Sports. But then, they, you know, the uh, Bally ended up buying the rights. Bally Sports theme song. Da -na -na -da -da -da. The to, uh, da -na 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 -na. Oh, that's a good one. It's going to be Root Sports, at and Sportsnet. Yeah. This is for... Yeah, it, the weird thing is, this score bug, you know, it's only four teams. Pittsburgh, Houston, Colorado, Seattle. Only for the Seattle games, it's called Root Sports. But for Pittsburgh, Houston, and Colorado, it's called AT&T Sportsnet, but it's the same graphics. It's the same score bug. Um, they had this one since 2018 as well. I, may, I think it's time for Root Sports slash AT&T Sportsnet to change to this one. I give this one a B minus. It's not that bad, but it's not great. It's kind of mediocre. All right, better than AT and T or <laughs> AT and T, uh, Apple TV Plus. That's it's better than that one. Colorado, Houston, Pittsburgh, and Seattle. 
And, uh, yeah, theirs is really not good either, if I'm being completely honest. It's got... Yeah, it's okay. Root, Root Sports always has that weird kind of, like, tealish color to it, you know, where it looks kind of dark, but I don't know. It's like a dark space gray. Yeah, it, it, it's not... Yeah, the, the letter R. I would give it probably a D plus or a C minus, honestly. But that is Root Sports. The next one is the Marquee Sports Network. This is a... Okay, this is only for Chicago Cubs games. Yeah. There's like... Not many... There's like a few teams, I think, that only have their own scorebook. Chicago Cubs has their own. Um, they, they, used, they also used to be on WGN. Chicago Cubs. And even the White Sox. Uh, yeah, both teams used to be on WGN. Uh, this one... This one, they used to change it. Um, this one's not that old. I feel like they just changed that like two years ago. Uh, this one's okay. Although I don't really watch Cubs games, so I don't see that scoreboard much. Let's see. Let's take a look at it. It, it kind of looks like the TBS one, except it's smaller. But the color's look better. I prefer this one than TBS. Um, what did I give TBS? A C minus or D plus? I would give this one a, 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 a I would give this one a C plus. So again, I'm sorry for talking so much. I don't want to talk while he's talking. A solo one for the Chicago Cubs, and it, it's pretty much just a worse version of TBS. So I'll just say worse. I say it's in better. The left corner, so I like that about it. It's small. There's nothing bad about it. Yeah, I mean it's pretty just completely average. So I would go with the C on that one. The next one, the Mid Atlantic Sports Network for oh. Baltimore and Washington. Okay. So that's what that is. Yeah, this one. All right, I gotta show you something, man. I gotta show you something. All right, so this is um, MASN's old score bug back in 2009. It was at the top. It kind of looks like a kind of looks like a ESPN's college football score bug in the, the late 2000s. All right, and I know it's kind of fuzzy because the quality is not good back in you know 2009. And now here's their previous one. This is in 2010. They changed it. It's at the bottom right. Well, it's not really at the bottom right, but it's kind of near there. And they had this score bug from 2010 all the way to 2021. They had this score bug for 11 years. It's ridiculous. If you don't believe me, I will show you one from 2021. All right. See, look. Look at the title. 2021. The only thing that they changed was they got rid of the HD next to MASN and the, the arrow, the little arrow that tells which inning it is, the top or the bottom of the inning, it's next to the number. The rest of it is the same. It's like, what the heck? So yeah, they had this longer than MLB Networks for sure. <laughs> This scorebook's not that bad, but man, they had this scorebook forever. And I used to be a Nationals fan, so a lot of times I see that scorebook and like, from like, I want to say, from 2013 to 2019, I was a Nats fan. And man, it was the same scorebook. It's like, okay, I'm tired of seeing the scorebook, man. I mean, I like it, but it's time for, for it to change. Anyway, let's get back to the video. I know a lot of Orioles fans and Nationals fans that do not like this network, but looking at it, it is, you know, I, honest. I gotta be honest. I'm really not feeling that. That this that looks weird. Off about it. it looks like oh, I don't know. Like I said, that. And this is the new one for MASN. It's at the top left, completely different. Like, wow, you finally changed it after 11 years, me Messin. MASN? What what took you so long, you know? I don't see that score bug a lot because it's only on two teams. You know, it's not like Valley Sports where you see it a lot. That score bug looks kind of weird. 
Uh, I, I'd say that one's better than AT uh, Apple TV Plus. I'd give that one, i give that a B minus, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, I don't, I don't see that score bug much. That's, yeah, that's, I can't say that, but it just, it, it, there's something off about it for sure. B minus or a C plus. I really dislike it. I'd say like a C minus or a D plus. There's nothing, you know, I just, I can't tell you. I feel like it just looks ugly. You know? <laughs> I don't know. You That's can't say that to the Fox it. one? That's the it's, ugliest. It's the new oh my gosh, I forgot about this one. There's This guy really made this video. Oh man, good job. Good job to this guy. Shout out to this guy. This is from... This is only from the Boston Red Sox. Okay, so Boston, they have their own network called Nessen. N-E-S-N. Boston Bruins, Boston Red Sox, Boston Celtics, and uh, that's it. So, this is a weird score bug. No team logos. Is this the first score bug with no team logos that he's talking about? Yeah, it is. No team logos. Everything is in white text. The background is like a navy blue. Yeah, this one's not good. It's and it's kind of small too. I I give this one a D plus. All right. New England Sports Network. Yeah, this one's real bad. This has got to be an F. Oh man! No, I would say you know what? Maybe an F plus. Nothing can be worse. <laughs> listen, listen. It does have a redeeming quality. It's small and it's in the upper left corner. It sucks. A lot of these score bugs of suck. We need colors to the teams. It they, can't just all be blue, like a dark blue color. And then you're not going to have logos either. I mean, that's like a third grader designed that. But it cannot be worse than <laughs> Bally Sports. So we're going to go with an F. Yes, a 59% on that one. The okay. Next one is the Spectrum Sportsnet. LA. Oh my gosh, man. I'm forgetting all these. Is this the last one? Let me try and think for a little bit. Valley Sports, he did that. Chicago Cubs, Nesson, Messin, Masson. Um, yeah, of course, Fox, TBS, ESPN. How many is that? That's seven already. Eight, uh, Apple TV Plus, AT&T, Sportsnet, Peacock slash NBC, and now this one, that's 11. Any more? That might be, I don't know, that might be the last one. That might be the last one. Okay, let me talk about this one before I re, uh, resume the video. So this is only for Dodgers games, okay? They got their own network. And let me just show you what their previous score bug looks like because it looks very similar to this one, but there's a slight difference, you'll see. All right, this is in 2021. Spectrum, Sportsnet, whatever it's called. Sportsnet LA, I think that's it. But yeah, it looks similar, right? It looks similar. And now this is today's. Yeah, it's like a revamped version. I don't know why they had to do that, but it looks okay this one is actually not that bad I don't really like that you know it's I how do I explain it I don't like that it's white all around you know like I like look at this can you see my mouse can you see my mouse oh you can't see my mouse crap <laughs> and I can't draw I can't draw on here but you see it's in the it's in a it's in a rectangle, right? But look, it's the the whole outline is white. I don't really like that. Um, that's why I prefer this one. I prefer this one. This one looks more This one looks better. See? It's, you know, I prefer this one than that one. Yeah, it's similar, but like just look at the difference. You can see the difference, you know. Everything else is kind of the same, but I prefer this one. I give this one, since this is today's, 
I give this one a B minus. It's not that bad, but it's actually not. It's uh, it's not that bad. It's pretty good actually, but I don't see this score bug much because I don't like watching it on this broadcast because I don't I don't like Joe Davis, the announcer. Uh, no disrespect to him. I just don't I don't like his voice. That's why. I refuse to tune in if he's the announcer. And now he's the Fox announcer? Like, what the heck? That's weird. Alright. We're almost done. A, which is basically the same thing as the New York Mets. So it's the Dodgers and the Mets. The Dodgers are Sportsnet LA. The Mets are Sp uh, Sportsnet New York. So, and huh. looking at it, yeah. Oh, the Sportsnet. Oh, the one in New York. He hasn't done that one yet. The Mets? That would be next. I don't like it either. And you don't like this one? Wow. I, I give this one a B plus or B minus. Eh, it's okay. Looking at it, you know, it's not my favorite, if I'm being completely honest. But it's bottom right. It's You know what? It kind of looks like ESPNs. Yeah, like looking up close, it kind of looks like ESPNs. See, so look, let me go all the way to ESPN or to the beginning of the video. It kind of looks similar, right? You notice how it's in a rectangle and it's white outside of it, you know? Except it's a different shape, you know, but... They do look similar. I wonder why they... Uh, why do they have to change it, man? Like I said, this one looks a lot better, in my opinion. Alright. I just bought... It's bottom right, it's got the names, it's got logos, it's got colors. I'm just not a fan of the overall font and kind of the way it's formatted personally. Golly. But, you know, I, I would give it a C plus. For he doesn't a, like a lot of them, and you know, I kind of agree. A lot but of them, they look kind of bad. They just like don't that. look right. And then the oh, yes well. network for the New York game. I forgot about that one too, what the heck? Yeah, um... I feel like they changed this like two years ago. A lot of these score bugs are new. They are. Like, it's weird. In 2021, 2022, mainly 2022, we're getting all these new score bugs. I'm like, what the heck? Why is... Why are we getting all these new score bugs in the same year? It's weird, but okay. Um, I have the Yes Network, and I, I, I'm not even... I don't live in New York, <laughs> but I have the Yes Network. Um, this one's okay. Um, C plus. Yankees, uh, the Yankees always do a great job with their graphics and things like that. They, you know, the way it's designed, I'd say it's a solid B plus. It's a really good scoreboard. Just the way it overall operates. The Yankees were one of, I think they were the first team to correctly add like a pitch clock in this spring training to their scoreboard. They're just like oh, really wow. with graphics awesome. and stuff. Yes, network. Cool. So, I would say a B plus for them. It, it, it's it's appealing for sure. And then the final one is the Toronto Blue Jays on Oh my gosh. Net. Yeah, this one. Oh man, I'm forgetting all these because we're in the off season, but hey, season's about to start. Yeah, so they changed this one in 2021. So this is still pretty new. Um, I like the previous one. Let me show you the previous one for Sportsnet. All right, this is their previous one, and I really like this one. I really like their previous one. Um, I was disappointed that they had to change it. It looks a lot different now. Um, yeah, Sportsnet, they decided to change everything their studio show yeah i watched i used to watch that a lot until they changed that they they did that for the um the nhl season the beginning of the nhl season in 2021 yeah um look at this one this one looks better it's got the logos you know it's a perfect size to me i give this one a, i give this one an a yeah I think this is one of the best ones, but now look at today's. Look at the current one for Sportsnet. Where's, what happened to the logos? It kind of looks like a cartoon. This one's 
It's not that bad, but it's not great. It's another one of those okay sp score bugs. I give this one... Uh, I guess a C plus. You see the difference, you know? It's okay, but... The previous one was one of the best I've seen. Alright, let's see what he has to say about it. I can't believe this video is over 45 minutes. I'm sorry. If you watch this whole thing... I applaud you. Like I said, this is a this is like a type of video that I want to do reaction video. So for some of you guys that like watching my uh, sports videos that I talk about, so this is for you guys, baseball fans. Post your comments down below if you agree with my opinions or say whatever you you want to say. And yeah, let's finish this now. They've had some scoreboards in the past that I've really liked that are real unique. One thing that uh, we can agree on. The current one, I like it a lot. Uh, personally, in the bottom right corner, it's oh, very likes vibrant. It. Yeah. The colors, the fonts. I don't know. I would say it's probably like a B plus for me. It's one of the better ones. And they always seem to do a good job with their scoreboards. Yeah, it's, it looks like uh, for the Blue it, it's kind of so like guys, the, the Canadian version the of NBC. State of all of these scoreboards within the MLB made, I mean, they got just got so many games. I think I hit on everything. Too many scoreboards. I got ESPN, huh. Fox, Apple TV, Peacock, NBC, all the regional ones. I, I believe I got everything MLB Network. So that's just kind of where we're at now, and we'll have to see what happens with Bally Sports and whether or not they lose teams. Let's see if we're going to have any new Brewer, score bugs. The first three Come on, TBS. Time for you to change teams, yours. Will be the Guardians, the Reds, and the Diamondbacks. That's a rumor that I heard. It was going around on Twitter, I think. So well, I we'll hope they go bankruptcy. But guys, that's going to do it for this video. I don't think anyone Make likes Bally Sports. Twitter. Links to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Press Ginger. Thank you for watching. All right, so all right, <laughs> yeah, a lot of score bugs because it's baseball. It's a bunch of games. Um, we're gonna find out if there's gonna be any new score bugs or scoreboards this year. I feel like e I, I feel like it's time for ESPN to change theirs. I really hope TVS changes theirs. They've had theirs for five years. It's too too long now. Um, a lot of them changed last year, you know. So Fox, my least favorite. They're not going to change theirs until probably 2025. I'm I was surprised that this. It it sounded like that this is his favorite one out of all of them. This is my least favorite one. It just. I don't like that. I don't like that the... Again, I've done two videos on, about this topic. You can go watch... You can click on the end screen in a little bit, but I just don't like that. It's just too much for me. It, it looks awful. Especially when the logos are behind the score, the abbreviation, and the, the giant pizza boxes. Yeah, guess what, Fox? Yeah, coincidentally, this year... We're gonna have bigger bases. It's gonna look like just like your score bug bases. Awesome. Alright guys. Yeah, this video was kinda long. And he didn't really talk much about it, because he didn't wanna he doesn't wanna, you know, I, I get it. He doesn't wanna waste like five minutes per score bug. I get it. Otherwise, this video would be like probably the same length as my reaction video. Alright, so. Am I ready for MLB season? Yes and no. Um, I won't watch much of it, just like last year's. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what the new rules are like. I barely watch any spring training games. I was really watching the WBC instead. Um, but season's about to start, so yeah, this is the perfect time for me to do this video. Um, but he he did one a, he did this he did a video of the college football score bugs and I think the NFL one I will do a reaction to that um, later this year I mean we're in the off season right now so I don't know maybe I'll I might still do it soon we'll see but um 
yeah, post your comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, click anywhere on the screen to check out my my rant. It's not really a rant on my on that video, but all right, y'all. I've talked enough. I gotta pee. Peace out.